Now that we know how to use implicit differentiation, link in the description if you need to review that, we'll be able to show that the derivative of log base a of x is equal to 1 over x times the natural log of a. Let's get into it. In order to use implicit differentiation to take the derivative of log base a of x, let's begin by giving log base a of x a name. We'll call it y. Now, we can make things a little easier if we exponentiate both sides of this equation. We'll put both sides of the equation in a power of a. We're choosing a because the log is base a, so if we put this in a power of a, they'll just cancel out. On the left side, we have a to the power of y, and on the right side, we have a to the power of log base a x, but a to the log base a x, by definition of the logarithm, those cancel out and just leave x. So in total, we have that a to the y is equal to x. Remember that log base a of x is the power we need to raise a to to get x. That's why this equation is true. So now that we have a to the y equals x, we'll just take the derivative of the left and the right side. So differentiating both sides of the equation, we've got the derivative of a to the y on the left equals the derivative of x on the right. Now we're using implicit differentiation. On the right, of course, the derivative of x with respect to x is just 1. On the left, we need to take the derivative of the exponential function a to the y. Link in the description to my lesson on derivatives of exponential functions. Here's how it works. The derivative of a to the y is just a to the y times the natural log of a. But because y is itself a function, we also need to use the chain rule and multiply by the derivative of y with respect to x. Here is the formula we just used written out where u is taken to be a function of x. The derivative of a to the power of a function, where a is just some positive number, is equal to a to the power of that function times the natural log of a, but then times the derivative of that function. It's just the chain rule. That's what we've got going on here. Then remember, we're looking for the derivative of log base a of x, and that's y. So we're looking for dy dx. So now we'll solve this equation for dy dx, and that gets us here. dy dx on the left, and then on the right, we just divided both sides by a to the y ln a. So on the right, we have 1 over a to the y ln a. But remember, a to the y, we already showed that's equal to x. So here we can just replace a to the y with x. And we have that dy dx, the derivative of log base a of x, is equal to 1 over x times the natural log of a. And that verifies this formula. For an example, if we let a equal e, then we're considering the derivative of log base e, right? Which is the natural log. And this formula tells us that's equal to 1 over x times the natural log of that base e. The natural log of e, of course, is just 1. So the derivative of the natural log is just equal to 1 over over x. Very important formula, don't forget it. The natural log is going to show up a lot in this course. Let's just finish with a less important example. Let's take the derivative of log base 3 of x. By our formula, this is going to have to be 1 over x times the natural log of the base. So natural log of 3. And that's all there is to it. So for a positive number a, the derivative of log base a of x is 1 over x ln a, which also implies that the derivative of the natural log, that's log base e, is equal to 1 over x. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and check out my Calculus 1 playlist for more. Link in the description.